Hello channel boys and out there, today in this vlog I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I got up to on my Friday evening, my Saturday and my Sunday. I hope you guys have all had a lovely weekend. On my Friday evening I had work doing 5 till close and it was me and two other of my colleagues and then one of my colleagues finished at 10 so it was just me and Tash on till close and we didn't get out again till midnight like last Friday evening so by the end of my shift I was absolutely exhausted I then got back and I got on my PJs finished writing my journal and I had my tea and I had this cheese and onion potato pie thing with leaking which is very nice and I'm going to show you guys the face of that now the cheese and potato pie I had for tea was so delicious I then went off to bed and as soon as my head hit the pillow I was out like a light I was just so exhausted I then got up on my Saturday morning early so I could catch up on the soaps from the previous night and finish writing my journal I then got myself ready for work and had some toast and a cup of tea for my breakfast. My mum and my grandma were up and watching TV in the living room. My older brother was on his Xbox, older sister at hers, younger brother at his and younger sister at hers. And my dad had some stuff on the house. He then went off back to bed and then my mum dropped me off to work. I got up to the high street pretty early so just before work started I popped off to one of the shops and got myself a drink from there. And then went off and had a look one of the charge shops and also got some flash ups from one of the flash shops. Let me show you guys now. Such pretty flower snaps that I was able to get from there. I love the sunflower snap I got from there. I love sunflowers so much. Sunflowers are probably one of my favourite flowers to get snaps of. I then got to work and I got clocked in and put my bag away and it was me and three other colleagues on shifts so four of us in total and it was pretty busy. Before I even got in there and said good morning, my head chef was like, right Dan, time to get some food from the hatch and there's lots of food to go. So I was wearing lots of food and drinks, cleaning tables and doing food and drink orders and bill taking and doing some drinks making and was on bar for a bit and we had a great players playing lots of 80s and 90s music which I loved and I had a load of coconut milk cups of tea I love coconut milk, it's probably one of my favourite milks and I was chatting to some of the workers making a fuss of all the little dogs that we had coming in I was getting them some bottles of water and giving them some treats and we had quite a busy morning with lots of people coming in for breakfast and coffees and then in the afternoon we had quite a lot of big bookies coming in for lunch and so that kept us busy and I was cleaning lots of tables inside and outside and then I finished at 3, I did a 10 to 3 and I then clocked off and got changed into a jumper that I'd had in my bag that I'd packed and I was going to be going to a coffee catch up with Tash after work so I then got changed into that and then got a mirror selfie that I want to show you guys now I love a good mirror selfie then before meeting up with Tash I went off to one of the flower shops and got some flowers that's on there that I'll show you guys now such lovely flowers from there I love the roses roses and sunflowers are probably some of my favorite flowers to get snaps of I then got some plant snaps from there that we'll show you guys now love the plant sessions so much all the succulents and cactuses and the plants hanging from the windows it's like a little jungle in there i was then chatting with the flower shop keepers in there and then i went off to meet tash at coffee one and we had a lovely catch up and i had a camel frappe and a bit of victoria sponge cake and i'm sure you guys a photo of that now it was so delicious i haven't had a bit of victoria sponge cake in ages and so when i saw that they had some there I was so happy. Normally it's all sold out, so I was so happy that I was able to get a piece of that. Then we just stayed in there for a little bit and were chatting and laughing 
and having a lot of fun and then we went off and had a look at the chive shop and we went into one of the fancier shops it's normally quite expensive but i was able to get some christmas baubles from there they were actually not that expensive and the first one i got was this little wooden christmas box and it's got some wobbins on and it looks like they're tying up the string which is so cute i love it it's so detailed and i just cannot wait to get all my decorations up i'm literally on the verge of just putting all my christmas decorations up and i cannot wait to decorate my doll house for christmas as well which i'll be showing you guys in a vlog very soon and then i have this one as well which has got a little weave on which is so cute and a little ribbon and it jingles so when i put them in my bag after purchasing them and we went around some more of the charge shops my bag was jingling so i was going like this and shaking and it was jingling so me and tash would be laughing and we were then just chatting all things christmas and i found out that we both love dominate the donkey one of the best christmas songs ever and then we went off to the corner shop and got some bits and bobs from there and i got myself some lunch from aldi and she went off back to hers as she had work in the evening and i then made way back and i then on the way back got some flower snaps and i'll show you guys now <music> I love flower photography so much, it just makes me so happy, all the lovely colours and patterns on those, especially dahlias. Dahlias, sunflowers and roses are probably my favourite to get photos of, they're just so beautiful. I then went off to One Stop and got myself some bits and bobs from there that I needed to get and got myself a cherry cola, I love cherry cola so much and I haven't had it in ages and so I got some of that and then I got home and I showed my mum and grandma the Christmas baubles that I got for my little Christmas tree that I have. I don't know where I'm going to put it this year because where I put it this year, where I put it last year, this year it is being occupied so I'm going to have to try find room or just have a bit of a weed jig and put that up. I think I might be getting a, try to get another one or order one because the one I've got is not the best so I'm going to probably try to get another one for the summer, probably order one on Amazon. It's a little fake one, probably not a real one to put all my baubles on because I think the one I got last year probably wouldn't be able to it's not strong enough to take the weight of the baubles because I've got quite a few since last year but I'm sure I might just put it on my desk I'm sure I'll find room for it somewhere and then I was just listening to a bit of music just enjoying and coming in wrote a bit of my journal just enjoying and coming in and I had my lunch that I got from Aldi and got my uniform ready for work the next day and then I ended up having a little bit of a nap as I was absolutely knackered and had a little bit of a headache. I then got up and we'd ordered tea from the fish and chip shop and it had arrived and we had fish and chips and I had fish king and chips and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. The fish and chips were so good. I had fish and chips. Then we watched Strictly and my older sister was over helping my older brother with his uni assignment. She then went off home. I then listened to a bit of music, did some drawing and coloring in and was just working on some illustrations and watching some vlogs and TikToks and funny dog and cat videos. I then had some cereal and just was watching some stuff on Netflix. I then went off to bed and then on my Sunday, which is today, I got up, showered and changed, went for work and had some toast and a cup of tea for my breakfast and was watching a bit of TV before work. My mum was asleep, so is my grandma. She had a nice line as normally she's up quite early, so it's nice that she was able to have a bit of a line. My older brother was on the Xbox. My old sister was at hers younger brother at work and young sister at hers and my old sister had a rugby game in the afternoon which my dad was going to be watching so I was going to have to walk home from work and I then got dropped to work by my dad and I got to work and got dropped in and put my bag away and it was super busy and I was wanting lots of food and drinks, cleaning tables, doing some food and drink orders and bill taking and we had quite a lot of bookings in and we had a online booking that we 
that hadn't come through on the system that we didn't know about. So they turned up and I thought six of them. And so we weren't sure if we were gonna be able to fit them in. But these two ladies that were just bought fish with their food, they then left. So I was able to quickly clean that table and there was enough room to, for them all to sit one. So I took initiative and got them sat down, got some menus and sorted out the situation and how to do it and didn't panic and was nice and calm by it and took the initiative. And I was very proud of myself and my supervisor said, well done, done for quick thinking. And everybody was enjoying themselves. We had a great playlist done like yesterday, lots of 80s and 90s music. I had lots of cups of tea, even got myself a luxury hot chocolate because there was a cock up because I think the ticket came printed out twice by accident. So I was able to have that. And we had a great team on and we're very close to colleagues that were on but I was on shift trip, so we were laughing and having lots of jokes and lots of banter, as they say. And then I finished, I finished at three, I did nine till three, I then clocked off and I got myself some lunch from the co op. And I then made the way back, and on the way back, I got some flour sacks that I'm show you guys now. got some really pretty flower snaps on the way back and they have lovely colours and patterns on. I was halfway home when I forgot that I had to get some bits and bobs from Audi so I ended up going back up and she did a U-turn and headed back up and then my friend was walking along and I was chatting with him and he was like, don't you remember Audi shirts at four? So I thought, oh my God. So I quickly like power walked up there and got in there and got the bits and bobs that I needed to get. I got some mini pancakes and some strawberries and blueberries to have for my breakfast tomorrow because I'm not until tomorrow evening, so I get a nice line. So I'm gonna get up and have some of my mini pancakes and some strawberries and blueberries with a cup of tea and then catch up on Neighbours on Amazon TV that I've been trying to get one to watch. And yeah, I'm looking forward to having a nice line and not being able to set, not having to set an alarm, which would be good. And then I got back and I was literally walking down my road that I've done when my dad pulled up and was like, do you want to lift? As he just got back from watching my older sister play rugby and her team won, which is great. And so I was like, yeah, sure. So I got back even quicker. I then got back and I got changed and got my work uniform ready for work the next day. Then I was listening to a bit of music, doing a bit of drawing and coming in, and I had my lunch that I got from the co-op, um, which is watching some vlogs and TikToks and posting some new TikToks that I'd done myself. I sorted out my pre-shot doll, I was working on some illustrations and doing a bit of coming in, and doing a bit of coming in after up on my phone, which is super therapeutic. And my mum was getting the tea ready, and my younger brother and his girlfriend came for tea and my older sister came over for the roast as well and then we had the Sunday roast and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. It was so delicious and I've been thinking about this Sunday roast all day. It was one of the only things keeping me going, getting me through that shift. Then after us we helped tidy away and then we had some pudding and I had a bit of chocolate cake and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that now. It was so delicious. I then had a cup of tea with that. And then me, my mum, my dad, and my grandma were watching the Strictly Results. And spoiler alert, Adam went out. And I was gutted it was out of Adam and Angela. And Angela went through, which it was like, I didn't mind who went through, but I also didn't want to lose either of them because I love them both. And it's getting harder now because each week now they're so good and I like I like all of them there's no one out of them now that I don't like which is really frustrating because I don't want to have them to go because that's how it goes there's got to be one winner can't be all of them winning but they're all winners in my eyes actually I love them all and they're all amazing and they work so hard I would love to be able to do Strictly they should do Strictly for paupers like me because I'd love to be able to learn to dance like that even though I have two left feet. Maybe they can cure my two left feet. And then I was just listening to a bit of music, just a drawing and coming kind of in, and watching some vlogs and TikToks and some funny dog and cat, dog, I watched some funny dog and 
chat videos, some sort of those to my younger sister, and she'd FaceTime to everyone just before we watched Strictly series, chatting with her. And I'm now off to go and watch some stuff off of Cord, do a bit more drawing and colour and sort of those. I'm loving being able to colour my new illustrations with the gel pens that I got from WJ Smith a few months back and my new illustrations are coming out really well and I've got my illustration mojo back because I had kind of lost it and not done many illustrations but now I've got my mojo back and I've been doing a lot more illustration work and I'm loving that and yeah I hope you guys have all had a lovely weekend all have a lovely rest of your Sunday and all have a great week ahead please like comment and subscribe and I shall see you in a new vlog coming very soon bye Thank you.